Hey guys, it's Go Nissan Joe here, your source for everything you want to know about Nissan. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the infotainment center or display on a 2022 Nissan Frontier. First thing I'm going to show you is how to reset it to default if you've made a big mess in here and you want to go ahead and uh, change it. So you hit that, go to others, return all settings to default, and this will clear everything out of there, including your phone, your phone book, and everything else. So this is what your default infotainment center for the 22 Frontier looks like. You have three screens uh, notated by your little dots down at the bottom. You can hit the arrows or you can simply swipe the display. I'm going to show you how to first pair your phone and then we're going to use this button right here to edit and make these uh, screens uh, a little bit more user friendly. Uh, so what we do is we go and click on the phone button and go to the Bluetooth settings on your phone. Down at the bottom, it should say My Frontier. Go ahead and click on that. And it will need access to your contacts, so click Allow. And for Android devices, it will need access to your messages. Go ahead and click Allow for that. And on an iPhone, you'll need to click the I next to Connected go ahead and hit show notifications and you're done all right so in order to customize our display here here's our clock we can change that to digital by just hitting that we're gonna go ahead and hit uh, customize home screen and you can see you have some different widgets here you have a filter where you can drill down to if you know that you're looking for an audio or a phone uh, a shortcut you can just go right there uh, but it's real simple you only have nine pages of, of uh, uh, settings here. We're just gonna scroll over. Uh, we're gonna go to quick dial right there. We're gonna replace it. And then we're gonna go to our phone book, our call history, and then text messages on this one here. On our second display, we're gonna do some voice recognition. Here's some settings in here. They're kind of useless to have on your home screen. If you need to drill down to your settings, it's best to go through the home, the menu button and then go down to the settings there. Uh, so we're gonna use our call a name, uh, quick dial, recent calls, and we'll go ahead and send a text message. And then you have another screen right here. We can use all your audio. So let's go ahead to our audio settings and we can put a little shortcut right here. We can do uh, AM, FM, do XM, Bluetooth, and then our USBs down below there. So that'll look pretty neat. And here's what it looks like. So you have your clock right here, your phone book. If you wanted to go in there and search for somebody in your phone book, you can use the scrolling tab, scrolling button right here. I got a lot in here, or you can just go down. If you know that you're Capital looking for a particular person, you could go there, or you could go to your quick dial. I'll show, this is really handy. Uh, you edit, you hit add new, uh, you copy from your call history, and here's my wife. I'm gonna go ahead and add her into number one slot right up here, and then you can give her a voice tag and she will be my wife. So anytime you use the voice recognition, you say call wife, it'll automatically call her and you hit okay. And now she is saved in there. That makes it very convenient. Okay, let's go back. And then here's our call history. If you had like a doctor's office call you, you don't have them programmed into your phone, uh, but you're returning somebody's call, you just hit that and it'll show right up there. Uh, if you have uh, text messages and you want to go through your text messages, you can do that as well. Here we are with our voice recognitions, uh, which is signified in purple uh, uh, icon boxes. Uh, the beauty of setting up your voice recognition is uh, it's faster. So uh, normally you would go to your uh, voice recognition, your talk button and say a command and I'll press this here in a minute, but before I do that, I'll explain. It's going to pop up a whole lot of 
list of commands and it's gonna walk you through three or four different steps. So here we go. I'm gonna press that. Please say or select a command. Phone. Phone, please say or select a command. Call Jessica Lakata. Showing matching items. Please say or select an item number from the displayed list. Two. Two, calling Jessica. I'm gonna go ahead and just cancel that out, but you can see how long that takes in order just to call somebody. And sometimes uh, it, it doesn't pick it up automatically and uh, you might have to go through it two or three times in, in order to call who you want. Uh, this way you can just hit this. Call, please say a phone book name followed by a location type is known. Jessica Lakata. Showing matching items, please say or select. You can also select it too, Jessica it's touch screen. So there's your audio. And then we'll go to our last screen. We have a, like a little widget right here with our audio and it shows you what you're listening to. You have your AM, your FM, Bluetooth audio, and that'll bring you right to that whole screen right there. Hit ignore. That's what text messages look like. Um, if you hit the audio button, brings you to the, the audio screen or we could click on this widget brings you to the audio screen and you have some presets down here that you can customize you can get rid of the am if you don't like that uh, I'll show you how to do that you go to settings customize audio sources and then they're down here so what i like to do is take the bluetooth bring it over here put this back where it was take usb 2 USB one, there you go. Now, when you go to your audio, you see how they're all down here. And you have uh, your settings and everything right there. So these are your big three, okay? You got your audio, your menu, which brings you back to the middle screen, your home screen, and then you have your phone. So your audio, you know what that looks like. Your menu brings you back, and then your phone has all your settings right there. But since we've already pulled out some of these shortcuts, down to this screen right here you, you never really need that unless you're trying to find something and you just want to click on that uh, real quick it's always in the same spot so there you have it there's your infotainment uh, uh, screen there and if you want to know more about the settings I'll do another video tutorial on just the settings here okay well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, if you like it, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, I'm trying to grow this channel and do more videos on every single model there is for every year, for every trim level, and I'll get more in depth and answer any questions that you guys have as far as how-to uh, videos. Subscribe to my blog at GoNissanJoe.com uh, and there will be a lot more uh, information there on car buying tips and how-to videos and uh, walk-arounds, reviews, comparisons on everything that you can imagine uh, Nissan. So if you're thinking about going Nissan, go Nissan Joe. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, please. Pre appreciate it.